Okay, today I'm going to show you Conor Bedard's secret move. I'm going to show you what he does better than anybody else in the world. And then I'm going to show you two different ways that you can start training from home, from your basement, from your garage, wherever you're at right now, and start getting better at what he does. I know what you're thinking. All the stuff you see on his highlights, his toe drag release, his change of angles, his sweet passes, that is not what he does better than anybody. It is the setup. It's the setup that allows him to do those things. What he does is he always has his top hand in his hip line, on his hip line. He never crosses his hands over because the second you cross your hands over, you limit your entire arsenal. You can't shoot, you can't pass, you can't do anything. So a lot of us, when we're going into tight turns right now, we're doing this big crossover thing so we can turn super tight, but that limits everything you can do. Watch Connor Bedard. I've been watching him for months. When he comes out of corners, when he tight turns on the wall, when he enters zones, his hand is on his hip line. So when he makes those turns, he can pass, he can shoot, he can score, he can toe drag release. He can do all those things that you see on the highlights, but it's the setup that's so important. And I'm going to show you two drills that you can start doing right now to build on that skill. Before we go any further, I want you to scroll down. I want to give you some free training. Scroll down, hit the link, and we will send you three more drills that you can do plus a Hockey IQ video where you can see what he does with his top hand. Click that right now. Pause the video. Don't forget because these drills are going to make you a better hockey player. Plus, they're free. The first drill that I'm going to show you, all you need are two pucks or two cones or two shoes, whatever you have lying around the house. Then you need a golf ball or some type of stick handling ball or a puck if you have access to that as well. You're going to set up your two obstacles about a blade and a half apart. Then you're going to stand right below them with the pucks on your forehand side. Now we're going to really focus on keeping that top hand on our hip line. Just like Bedard, watch him. I'm telling you, I've seen a hundred clips of him coming out of the corner, making plays hand on his hip line. So you're going to stand down. You're going to go hand on your hip line through, pull it down. How many hands am I using? Just one. Now I go up to the second level. Boom. Hand on your hip line. First level. Hand on your hip line. Second. See how I roll that wrist over to the top. Roll that wrist over couple things I want you to pay attention to. One, I'm never stepping above this first puck or obstacle. Why? Because I want this to be a different pull than this. See how my hand's more extended? But yes, it's more extended, but it is not crossing over. Because again, if I cross over, I limit myself. So drill number one, two pucks, a ball. You're going through the middle, stepping, hand on your hip, stepping. I want you to do this for a minute straight. After that minute, I want you to take a rest for a minute and I want you to repeat five different times. Make sure you're rolling that wrist over, make sure you're wearing your gloves and definitely make sure you're not crossing that hand over and you're keeping on the hip line. All right, drill number two that you can start doing today. You're gonna to need four pucks or cones, whatever you have at your house. The first two are gonna be that same setup that we had before, about a blade length and a half. The second one is going to change depending on your comfort level. I'm going to start with them a blade length apart and see how they're set up in this L shape. This is about one, two blade lengths apart. Again, you're going to start with your top hand. You're going to start facing these two pucks and you're going to keep that hand on your hip line, step into it, push the top, toe drag release. Okay. We're working that patented toe drag release, but again, it is the setup that makes him so special. So hand on your hip. Again, you're going around, toe drag through. Set it back up. Around, toe drag through. One more time, around, toe drag through. Now, if you wanna make this drill harder, simply scoot these pucks closer together. So now you have a less of a, of a space to get through, right? So again, around, toe drag, release, back, reset. Every time, reset, knees bent, badard, ready position. So around, down, through, reset. Around, through. I want you to do that 10 times, take a minute break, Repeat for five sets. It's very important that when you go around, 
here, you're keeping that hand on your hip line. Do not cross your hand over and pull this thing down. Because if I come here and I want a toe drag release, I have to recalibrate, toe drag, release. If I keep my hand on my hip line, boom, toe drag, release. Something that you can do at home. Send us your videos if you're doing these things. I'd love to see you and give you some coaching feedback. But set this up, do a set of 10, relax for a minute, repeat five different times or more if you have time. If you want more drills or if you want to train like this all month long, starting February 27th, we are going to be training like this all month long inside the Project Hockey app. So we're going to give you a 14-day free trial on that. And we're going to start training on February 27th. It's something you're going to want to be a part of. I have researched this guy for the past month and a half. And now the Bedard Ready program is coming out. So check it out. Hit the link. Let us know if you have any questions. Let's go. Do the work.